the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name's Nagato. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's tutorial, I'm basically gonna be showing you guys on how to directly FTP files using an Ethernet cable from your modded PlayStation 3 to your place or to your PC, excuse me. Things you'll need for this tutorial is a modded PlayStation 3. In this case, I'm using 4.84.2 DEX. You'll all and this method does work with Kex. You'll also need a PC, of course. And also you need one program called FileZilla FTB client or any FTB client but in this case I'm just using FileZilla and also you need a Ethernet cable that is plugged in both from your PS3 to your PC. Once you have those things you can follow the steps ahead so once you're on your PC what you want to go to is settings and then go ahead and open your settings and then from there you want to go to network and internet and then within network and internet make sure your PlayStation 3 is on at this moment and also that you have your Ethernet cable into your PC what you want to go to now is go to the third option Ethernet and you should get something that says unidentified uh, network you can back out of that and the third option what you want to go to is network and sharing center go ahead and open that up and then you want to go to the second option called change adapter settings you should see your regular Wi-Fi and also your Ethernet cable that is plugged in. What you want to do is go ahead and right click over it, go to properties, and now we're going to mess with the Internet Protocol version 4 or the IPv4. Go to properties from here and then you want to go ahead and type this IP address. So you want to make your IP 1111, 255, 255, 255, 0 for the subnet mask. Go ahead and hit OK. And then once you do that, you could go ahead and close. And now once your PlayStation uh, 3 is on as well, I'll show it up on the screen in a second. We're going to go to Rebug Toolbox. I'll have a link in the description below to how to download it. And you just install it like any uh, regular PKG. Most users already have Rebug Toolbox as well. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation 3 real quick. Boot up Rebug Toolbox and then show you guys on how to basically install it if you guys don't have it already. And then also show you guys with FileZilla on how to set up um, your FTP client. So I'll meet you guys right back on the PlayStation 3. Okay guys, so once you're back on your PlayStation 3 into your X and B menu, go all the way and scroll down to network settings. Because as you see here, I'm on DEX right now. And you can see my IP address, which is 1.1.1.2. And you're wondering, hey, how did you set that up? Well, all you have to do is go to network settings. Go all the way, make sure that your internet connection is enabled, of course. You want to go to the third option here. You want to go scroll down to custom. Then go to the first option called wire connection since we're using ethernet. Then what you want to do is go to manual settings. If it asks for speed and duplex, just go ahead and hit auto detect. And then for your IP address settings, go to manual. And you want to basically um, copy this, uh, everything on the screen right here. Go ahead and pause the video right here if you need to copy it down. But all you would have to do is, you know, type in your IP address as 1.1.1.2, 255.255.255.255. Default router one zero 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 make the DNS both all ones and then once you do that go ahead and hit automatic MTU Proxy server do not use you can enable UPnP and then you want to save your settings And now if it's successful if you're on DEX you should see your IP address change to 1.1.1.2 uh, Now what you want to do if you guys don't already have a rebug toolbox already previously installed if you're on Rebug, all you would have to do is just go here to install package files and then go to the first option, the PS3 system storage packages. And this is where your Rebug Tupacs will be located for whatever firmware and basically the newest version. If you don't have it, go ahead into the PC and, you know, look in the description below. I'll have the latest version of the Rebug Toolbox in the description. And then with that, if you take a FAT32 USB, uh, basically transfer the file like any normal PKG. What you want to do is go to the third option on a P when you put your USB on your PS3. Go to standard and you should see all your PKGs. So in this case, go ahead and just restore a uh, Rebug Toolbox. 
make sure your install is complete and then you would just want to boot up rebug toolbox like normal so once you now in rebug toolbox you should be fine if you go hover over your system information it should detail your IP address and then once you do that you could go ahead and back on your PC and then run up FileZilla FTB client I'll also have a download in the description as well so just leave rebug toolbox doing its thing in the background and then go ahead and head back to your PC alright guys so once you back on your PC remember the IP that we just did for our, our um, PlayStation 3 what we want to do is go ahead and type it in 1.1.1.2 go ahead and hit quick connect and then what it should do is be establishing a welcome message it may take a little while but make sure your Ethernet is of course basically plugged into your PC and PS3 at the moment and as you see here all my directories loaded up so this is my USB that's in the PlayStation 3 now this is basically the your hard drive your dev flash and dev blind and all that good stuff like app home but what you want to do now if you wanted to you know go through your games or you know dump games from this way if I go to PlayStation 2 ISO I see all my games if I see all my PS3 uh, games there are in here so it is pretty useful for you know a lot of things such as if you want to transfer over files that are over 4 gigabytes and I'll show you how fast usually transfers are usually with this so if I go here and let me see I'll, I'll just choose a random thing to try to transfer over real fast I'll just use some trophy folders just for the hell of it so usually something would take like I don't know a few minutes as you see the transfers they're almost instant due to the fact that you're using via Ethernet so when you're transferring over games that are like large as 25 30 gigabytes or so um, the transfers are way more faster rather than using a router so this is very good if you know you're testing stuff and you don't want to you know wait for wait times and don't want to mess with the USB as long as you have FileZilla and an Ethernet cable you are able to do this method um with that being said my name is Nagato and I'm signing out thank you guys for watching